All right, hi everyone. My name is Steven Adler, and this is my follow-up presentation for my personal assessment assignment. Um, today I will be presenting in front of my girlfriend, Krista. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> and my two classmates who were nice enough to help me out, Chris and Mike. Um, all right, well, I'm going to be discussing my strengths and weaknesses that I evaluated during my first week of public speaking class, as well as the goals I set for myself at the beginning of the month in regards to improving my public speaking skills. Um, looking back, I had said that my biggest strength in public speaking is my open mind and fearlessness, which allowed me to not be afraid to try new things when it came to my approach. I would say now that this still holds to be true, and while I feel I've greatly improved in other facets of public speaking, I definitely feel like I have gotten over any sort of speech anxiety. This, prevented me, this prevents me from overthinking my performance, and I can focus more about connecting with my audience. One example is of this is a personal feeling of calmness while speaking during my team meetings throughout this past month. I rarely felt like I was ever worried about my timing or volume levels or any minutia of any of my performance, really. I just felt the need to back up my points and communicating with my classmates and instructor as much as possible. Uh, the second strength that I noted in week one was my preparation for each presentation. Since my first project, I've made a pretty conscious effort to plot out my speeches as much as possible. Uh, because of this, my delivery has become a lot better and so much more concise. Preparation has now become extremely vital to my speeches, and I'm starting to feel like I can never prepare enough. Uh, my instructor also gave me confidence in my work as well, which further proved to me that whatever preparations I was doing has been paying off in the quality of my presentations. Um, as for my weaknesses... Uh, and an odd twist was also my preparation. One of my main obstacles for me was to not sound like a robot or sound like I am reading from a prepared statement. Uh, while I was able to eliminate the prepared statements at times, longer speeches for me still required it. Um, now, as for my other major weakness, I had stated that I thought sometimes I came across as too monotone. Now, as someone who has difficulty staying focused uh, during extended speeches, nothing really pet peeves me more than a monotone speaker. I tried to put a lot of effort into differentiating my tones throughout my presentations by instilling some moments of emotion or personality. I also tried to use body language to help control my voice a little bit. And I have to say, I think I improved on this weakness a bit. Now, as for my goals this month to improve my public speaking skills, I said number one would have to be constantly reminding myself to take it slow and to get my points across as well as possible. I feel like this goal has been accomplished because I don't seem to feel like I went either too fast or too slow anymore. Uh, my pacing in general is where I would like it to be. My second goal has to be... Uh, my second goal was to be prepared as much as possible for every presentation. As I said before, I feel like I achieved this to a certain extent, but I think I still have some more work to do when it comes to extended speeches. Now, my third goal was to focus on not sounding monotone or too much like a robot. Again, as I said before... I have stopped intensely focusing on this aspect of my speeches after switching my focus to injecting personality into my presentations. I'm currently happy with the tone of my speeches, and I think at some point I can come back to this and improve even more. Now, my fourth and final goal was to try and inject enthusiasm and excitement into my speeches. This touches on my third goal, and I think my focus on this has made my speeches better in general. Uh, I am not just trying to refine, I am now just trying to refine and hone my skills so that I don't come off as too much. Like Otherwise, I think I've made a lot of headway with this goal and I like uh, what it has done to my speeches. 
the one thing I learned how to do this month that really opened my eyes in many ways was integrating vi visuals into my speeches. I can tell I'm going to have a lot of fun with this in the future, and I will most definitely, it, it will most definitely help me improve as a public speaker and presenter. So this was my follow-up personal presentation of myself uh, with public speaking, and I'm excited to say I feel like I've learned so many new things, and I can't wait to take these new skills and use them in my journey ahead. I know that when it comes time for me to present myself or any project in the future, I will not just be prepared, but I will have the skills and discipline to stand out from the rest of the pack. I want to thank my instructor, Ms. Uh, Visser, and as well as my classmates and team for supporting me and being there when I need them, and my girlfriend for being my audience. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and have a good one. Bye-bye. Oh, and I gotta pan around again to show my audience. My huge audience. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. No, no problem.